All right, what is going on financial movers? I'm going to be talking about Microsoft ticker symbol MSFT. The company just reported, well, spectacular earnings. Currently trading at $232.03, down 0.13% after reporting great earnings. The company is paying a dividend yield of 0.96%. So that's awesome to see in a nice big tech company with a market cap of almost $2 trillion. It has a market cap of $1.76 trillion. So ridiculous amount of money in that company right now. But, you know, I'll get into the fundamentals of Microsoft and then I'll get into the technicals of Microsoft and tell you some great levels I think that the stock can be picked up at if you haven't already got it. And then you'll understand exactly why this company is worth as much as it's worth. So if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button for me because you never want to miss out on another analysis. And let's just jump right in to Microsoft's numbers. So Microsoft reported an EPS beat by 39 cents. They beat on revenue. So they reported a gap EPS of $2.03 beat by that 39 cents and then reported revenues of $43 billion, which was up 16.7% year over year, a beat of 2.85 billion dollars okay that is a lot of money to beat by now getting into their business highlights whenever they reported their earnings it was just impressive to see what the ceo said and then also what the cfo said so the ceo satya nadella said what we have witnessed over the past year is the dawn of a second wave of digital transformation sweeping over every company and every industry cfo amy hood went on to say Say that accelerating demand for our differentiated offerings drove commercial cloud revenue to 16.7 billion, up 34% year over year. And that is exactly what investors wanted to see. And the reason for that is because the cloud industry is booming and it is growing. So global cloud computing market is sized at 371.4 billion US dollars. And it's expected to grow to 832 billion by 2025. Well, guess what? Microsoft is the second leader in the total cloud market share at 18.8% following Amazon, who has 31.7%. So if you want to be a part of this growing cloud, Microsoft is a solid bet to be a part of. So jumping down to their income statements the company has their three months ended up at the top and then even their six months ended over to the right now total revenues came in at 43 billion dollars which was up from over 36.9 billion dollars in the quarter of 2019 the six months ended came in at 80 billion Point two billion up from over sixty point nine billion dollars, and this is what is beautiful. So the company had total revenues of forty three billion, and then they had total gross margin. So after their total cost of revenue of fourteen point one billion dollars, total gross margins came in at twenty eight point eight billion dollars. That is gross margins of 49%, almost 50% gross margins. That is spectacular and exactly why investors want to be in a company like Microsoft. Okay, now their biggest expenses were in their research and development and their sales and marketing. So research and development expenses going up from $4.6 billion up to $4.8 billion. Sales and marketing only up slightly from $4.9 three to four point nine four seven billion but I I think this is fine the company's proving that they know what they're doing and obviously whenever they're increasing revenues by six billion dollars over the quarter I don't believe that the expenses increasing under that is a problem at all so that brings them at total net income up to 15.4 billion dollars up from 11.6 billion dollars their EPS their earnings per share coming in at 205 up from a dollar 53 and on that six months ended up from two nine up to 388 now jumping down to their balance sheets it is just looking strong over at microsoft there's no other way to put it the cash and cash equivalents coming in from 13.5 billion up to 14.4 billion dollars and they have total current assets at 173.9 billion dollars down slightly from 181.9 billion dollars but not a problem at all because they have total current liability of 67.4 billion also down from 
72.3 billion. But that is just ridiculous. They have almost three times as much total current assets right now than they do total current liabilities. Total assets actually coming in at 304 billion dollars, and then total liabilities coming in at 173 billion dollars. So they are strong over at Microsoft. And they have total cash, cash equivalents, and short-term investments at $131 billion. Okay, so between the revenues and the balance sheets, this is why investors want to be in Microsoft. And then breaking down how much they were able to make in their year-over-year -year change and their products and sales was just ridiculously high. So they have some things that didn't just jump off the sheet like their office consumer products or maybe search advertising but their xbox content and services up 40 percent their microsoft azure their cloud up 50 percent their server products up 26 percent dynamics 365 39 percent okay the company has great products they're not only consistently bringing in money but they're increasing their money this is why it is good to be in microsoft so where would i like to buy microsoft at so right now the stock just closed at 233.27 after reporting their earnings yesterday now it opened up this morning at 238 dollars so stock is down from where it opened by nearly two percent but I, I believe that now it's going to hover between this 230 dollars and 240 dollars dollar mark so buying it right now at 233 isn't bad for an investor this is a really good spot in microsoft can it sell off a little bit i believe it can and anywhere between 230 and about a 217 mark would be a great zone to buy it in. So Microsoft was trading in between 200 and 230 dollars starting in July, all the way until the past couple of days where it was able to make a new all-time high up at 234, and then reported earnings, and then opened up today and made a new all-time high at 240. So I'm going to put a 20-day moving average on, a 50-day moving average on, a 100-day and a 200-day moving average. Right now it seems like a good spot at 230 if the stock can fall down to this 217 zone it would then correlate with the 20 day and a 50 day moving average and even a hundred day following right behind there that would be a great buying time for microsoft stock and if it fell down even more which this would have to be a massive market sell-off i believe for this to happen 200 i would be almost willing to go all in microsoft correlating with the 200 day moving average but i mean that is just wishful thinking so if you got anything out of this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button hit that notification button for me and good luck out there financial movers